Tico Bayagas. Uh, I work at Nokia Research Center in Palo Alto, California. Right, so Nokia Research is kind of the forward thinking arm of Nokia. Uh, so we typically think about concepts that are five to ten years out. Mm -hmm. um, we partner very closely with universities, so each research center is paired with the university. In Palo Alto, we're paired with Stanford University. We have an open innovation model where we try to uh, influence Nokia from the outside, where we try to get stuff out early uh, through publications, through uh, open source, through the press, and, uh, and then let the ideas trickle back mm -hmm. into the company. One of the projects that we're currently working on is examining how to improve family communications. And this is uh, centered around things like improving communications across generations, mm -hmm. improving communications across physical distances, uh, but also kind of promoting a stronger sense of togetherness within a family or a stronger sense of family altogether. And we think that there's an opportunity for certain technologies and practices to, to, prom to kind of advance those goals. Okay. So basically what we've been doing is uh, an, a contextual inquiry of, mm -hmm. of families in uh, the Bay Area looking at current family communication practices. Uh, one of the things that uh, we found is that a lot of families still use the uh, standard voice phone calls to keep in touch with their loved ones, but children kind of have a disconnect with that. They, they typically, especially children under the age of seven and eight, uh, have a, a lot of different difficulties uh, communicating on the cell phone. Some of them are cognitive, remembering to hold the phone up to their head while they're mm -hmm. talking or pointing at things uh, in the room that the other person can't see. Some of them are social, just uh, thinking about things like turn-taking or storytelling or knowing to ask questions. And some of them are just uh, motivational, like just getting kids to stay engaged, uh, things like that. And so those are the, the things that we're trying to kind of uh, turn into design opportunities mm -hmm. and really create new interfaces that uh, uh, take advantage of the way kids already communicate today and ways that they understand mm -hmm. how to communicate uh, and leverage that. You know, one of the things that, the trends that's most striking is this notion of ubiquitous computing, mm -hmm. or computers, you know, coming into all of the devices around us, and I think it's especially going to be true for toys. I mean, it's going to be dirt cheap for toys to have really sophisticated uh, computers in them, uh, and that's really going to change the way these toys are, are used. And, opportunities there and there's going to be a lot of opportunities for for learning which is mm -hmm. relevant to the electric company mm -hmm. but a lot of opportunities for communication and sharing and things like that as well and so how can we leverage these opportunities best